Hello again. I've been giving some thought to the direction my channel's taking. I'd set out originally that I would do it on the basis of go out and take some pictures and make a video on location and then come back in and show you how I do my post-processing. What I've realized over the first five or six videos that I've made on the post-processing is they're all pretty similar. I've pretty much covered all the bases and so I'm not going to do that anymore because it's getting boring. What I will do is the odd tutorial about complex stuff as it comes up, luminosity mass, exposure blending, color balance, anything that requires something a bit more advanced, I'll probably make a video about. But the basic day-to-day -day stuff I can't be bothered with. I'd rather spend more time out and about shooting than mucking about in front of the computer. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you very much for watching, and with all that said, here's my next on-location shoot. Well, this is a bit impromptu. I looked out my window and it looks like we might get quite a decent sunset tonight. And uh, I'm just walking down to where I moor my boat on the, the fishing lake near where I live. So I hadn't really planned to go out tonight, but because it's only two minutes walk just across the fields, I'll show you where I'm heading. It's down there to where I keep my boat moored. and. Uh, We'll see if we can get a decent sunset. I know sunsets can be a bit cheesy, but because it sets over the lake, it does make for some interesting shots. Uh, and I tend to wait until the sun's actually gone down and it's just about due to set I think in about five, 10 minutes, something like that. It gives me time to get set up because I'm actually interested in the, the up light in the cloud bank. So we'll see what happens. So this is my fishing boat. And uh, as you can see, the sun's setting directly across the lake. I'm not entirely sure what my composition's gonna be. I think I'm gonna go for a composition that leaves the boat out because um, it's, it's not very photogenic, it's, uh, it's full of crap as you can see. Um, but I think that uh, that little bank of reeds just over there in the centre of the picture will, uh, will look quite nice in it. Of course we won't have much in the way of that bright reflection of, we've currently got of the sun. So we'll just wait for these, these clouds to light up. I don't need a very long exposure to smooth the water out because there's very little wind here today which is completely out of the ordinary. There's nothing between us and the sea about a mile away so normally it's, it's really windy pretty much every single day living around here. Anyway, get my tripod set up, get the camera out and uh, I'll let you see what we're going for as, as far as composition is concerned. So I'm all set up here, um, as you can see I'm uh, if you can see that but i'm actually half in the lake i can see some really nice colors coming now which is exactly what i was hoping for and here's my composition i managed to keep the boat out of it uh, aperture priority f9 iso 100 and getting a 20th of a second at the moment but the the lake is like glass so there's really no need for a, a long exposure. But I'll probably have to do quite a bit of spot removal because there's a whole flock of house martins buzzing around and with a shutter speed that slow, it's just gonna be a load of black blobs. But the, the colors right now are absolutely stunning. Just keep taking a few shots and we'll, we'll see what we get, but I'm 
really pleased with the colours and it's just nice to be able to pop out. I'm only less than five minutes walk from the house. So uh, if nothing comes of it, at least I haven't been driving around for hours to try and get a picture. But I think, um, I think we get something quite nice here. I'm really liking the colours already. I've been down here shooting many a sunset, as you can probably imagine. But uh, I do quite enjoy just getting a camera set up and just looking at the live view and just taking a snap every now and then. It really is no effort and it's a, it's a good excuse just to get out for some fresh air after a hard day's work. Almost tempted to take the boat out fishing for half an hour. A bit too much hassle though. You really can't beat just standing around waiting for waiting for the colours to come out in a sunset. You see there's some lovely reflections in the water as well. Might just change my composition a little bit, get a bit more of this water in. So I've changed my composition and just to show you on live view, basically I'm completely flouting the rules and I've got the uh, I've got the horizon line straight across the middle of the picture and it's because the colours are absolutely spectacular but if I put the horizon line on a third, a, a third of the picture will just be a slab of grey. So I'm just making the most of the colour and I think this is a really good uh, example of when it, you know, it's time to flout the rules. It's going to be one of those sunsets where you, you simply don't, don't have to cheat with Photoshop. It is absolutely spectacular. And the water is like glass, which is great because even if you smooth it out with a, a long exposure, you don't get that clarity of the reflection in it unless it is genuinely absolutely still. Often leave images on, on a card and don't get around to doing anything with them for some time. To be honest, this is one of those times where I can't wait to get back and, and get on the computer. I'm going to be heading off back up uh, just over there to the house shortly and see what we've got. I think that's about it for now, but that, that really was absolutely spectacular. You know, one of the reasons I, I got into photography, I guess, is, is I absolutely love landscapes, mountains, sea, sunsets, sunrises. And I just really enjoy capturing it and making pictures that people look at and say wow that is stunning because they didn't get to see this so hopefully I can share it because it, it's, it's quite a special one this. We just finished eating and I glanced out the window and thought oh that might be quite good just goes to show. I don't know if you heard that but a great big trout just jumped. I really should have gone fishing. <laughs> anyway that'll do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Thanks for watching. Take care.